Takes it out of turn number four. Jay Stockin picks up the win on night number one. Here comes Tyler Courtney to the double checker flags. He'll pick up the win on night number two. The winner here at Games 9 here at Bubba Raceway Park. Two wins and two nights. Sunshine picks up the win on the final night of the Winter Dirt Games. The winner at the Shamrock Clock is, in, is the rookie Logan Seaman. He sack victory lane. This side by side through the dog leg, and here comes Justin Grant. By the time this girl is over, they're going to have to repatch the shoots. Bobby Santos III will win at ISM Raceway. Slider! by CB, but he lost the lead again to Courtney. It's gonna be Tyler Courtney, the victory lane. He missed the national win last year. Dave Darlin, the 36D car, is gonna pick up one this year early in 2018 here at Bloomington Speedway. Kevin Thomas Jr. has got to keep a gas stop. Look at how wide he's got him at the line. Kevin Thomas Jr., victorious here tonight. Second time in his career for my own California. That's your win of the Subaru Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Justin Grant. Checkered flag, Tony Swanson. Robert Blues right there. You got company. Oh, caught the back bumper, KTJ. Thomas back on the gas. Blue to the outside. Slid patiently through the corner. He'll jack it sideways down into traffic. KTJ picks up the win as the checkered flag comes out. And the Macho Man, Brady Bacon, the 99 car, is going to pick up the win on night number one of the Don Branson Judd Larson Classic. What a battle inside the top three. Big slider for the lead into turn two. That was big indeed. It started down here on the front stretch and ended coming out turn number two for the number five. It's and Chris Windham is going to pick up the win. The 40th annual Ernie Holman Classic is going to go to Sunshine. Tyler Courtney in the 7 BC. And here he comes, double checker for Cody Swanson. Nobody does it better. Going to the outside now. Rip the top, side by side. There goes Kyle into the lead. Kyle Larson will win it here at Montpelier. Boat to the bottom for the lead. Chad Boat, Thorson back to the inside, going for the lead, wheels it in, the one, takes it back, might lose it, Boat runs back to the bottom, sails to the top spot in turn three and four, Thorson rips the lip off of four, keeps his foot in it, can't take the lead, dives to the bottom in turn number one, Boat slides to give him room, points his arrow back to the bottom, takes the lead back, closing up on ten laps to go, everybody else catching this breathtaking battle for the lead, Boat leads it back to the bottom with inches to spare. Pass Boat. Guess what? Here goes Boat back to the bottom side. Chad Boat is going to win here at Lincoln Park Speedway. Grant has momentum to the inside for the lead. Slide and into turn four. Back to the bottom. Courtney for the top spot. Courtney holds it. Here comes Boat. Here we go again. Here comes Baston. Three wide into turn one. Slides it up the hill. Baston takes third. One second. Boat takes second on the bottom side. Spencer Baston. Spencer Baston will win at Lawrenceburg. White flag coming, one to go. CB in the back pocket of KT, you know what's coming. Slider into turn one, up the hill, takes it, loses it. KT to the lead, CB's gonna have one more chance. Down into three, makes a move, based it is there, off of four it is, KTJ. And he'll pick up. His third feature event went on to season for Kevin Thomas Jr. to meet Green 69. CJ Leary back there in third, but here comes Sunshine. Slide job, got it. You've got a new leader. Tyler Courtney is your winner. And the track has wholesale changed. Everybody shuffled around, new race leader. Macho Man gets himself into P1. That'll shuffle KTJ back to second. And we're going to go back to back at Grandview Speedway for 
Macho Man, Brady Bacon. McGee with him draws alongside. On a good drive, come off the bottom window. Trying to get himself out of front's got it. Bacon falls back into the number two spot. And now he's got to come up with the plan to get back around with him. Double checkers are out. Chris Wendell picks up the win. Going back to back here tonight, it's going to be the number five. Chris Wendell picking up a win again at Port Royal Speedway. Chris Windham, and here comes Ballou, he's going to work it out across the racetrack, takes the lane away, Windham's got a lift, and Ballou goes to the number one spot. Chris Windham, deep into turn number three, slide job across the nose of Ballou, Ballou right back down to the inside, back to the point goes the number 12 car. Ballou goes to victory lane here at Baps Harder Speedway. Attack low, now he attacks high, and he got a new race leader across the strike. Sunshine picks him off by a couple fouls. They cross over. Wyndham's got a battle back. Kevin Thomas Jr. watched that all go down for the number three spot. And up front's not over yet. Here comes Wyndham slide. Jump into turn number three and four. Got the five car back out front. Courtney crosses him down the inside. Hangs on to the lead at least for now. Wyndham deep down into turn number one and two. Back behind, everybody shuffle along, trying to make something happen as Wyndham give tax down the inside. Courtney's got a better run in turn number one and two. Wyndham is stouter in three and four. And Kevin Thomas Jr. is coming up with the game plan and looking for a two for maybe the next two laps around. And down the back shoot, Wyndham again beats Courtney down in three and four. Courtney, oh! Bad slider up across, tagged the front end of Wyndham. And Wyndham, oh, that's going to light his fire. Watch the number five car. He's going to get up on the wheel and rip that thing right out of the car. My goodness. Couldn't believe that happened down there. Got himself up to the point. KTJ capitalized on it. He'll slide on through. He'll pick off the 7BC car. Now turn number four down the front straightaway. Now KTJ, your race leader. Making history here at Bridgeport. Kevin Thomas Jr. To run down the seven car of Buckwater. He looks incredible up front. Leading a ton of this race. He's on the binders for the 7BC of Sunshine. Tyler Courtney is look out. Oh! San Jose, California racer Chris Dyson racing number 20. He's going to be victorious for the first time in 2018. Stiff's going to get Dyson. Swanson tried to set the moving screen on him, and there he goes for the lead down the back straightaway. Cody Swanson slips ahead of Grant and takes the lead. A pick and roll to perfection. May join the number one spot with Jack Hewitt. Here he comes. He's done it. Cody Swanson. Courtney working out, turn number two and up and over. Goes your race leader, caught the curb, kicked it sideways, and Kevin Thomas and Sunshine picks up the win here tonight at Lincoln Park Speedway in the 7BC car. Nine laps to go. It's CB versus Bell here tonight at Meeker. Christopher Bell is going to take one in his home state tonight, winning Tuesday Night Thunder at the Red Dirt Raceway. Deckers for Thomas, he will win. Third place battle behind second place, CB. Six to go, CB dies into one, takes it, loses it. Grant back in the lead, this time by 35 up, five laps to go. Grant and CB are approaching lap traffic, oh baby. CB closing, Justin Grant will win. We are looking to go three more times around, CB a run off of two. Got him. Jay Stock is doing a great job keeping the door closed. Bacon is going to drive down to the inside. He goes to P1 in the 99 car. And night number one of the NOS Energy Drink Indiana Sprint Week here at Plymouth Speedway is going to go to the Macho Man. Brady Bacon picking up the win. Drag race to the stripe. Give the nod to Courtney. Got him by three thousandths of a second. And CJ Leary will force him up wide into the dust. And he'll drag race out of the corner. So far, Sunshot able to hold him off. Leary slide job down into the corner. Courtney was waiting on it. He'll cross him back to the inside and recapture the number one spot and pitch him off on the wall. CJ Leary will come right back at him. Courtney a little too high on the racetrack, looking to turn it back. Leary kicks dust in his face, and here comes Courtney down the back straightaway. Courtney back into the number one spot momentarily down into turn number three and four, and Leary's too quick down on the inside. Almers comes out and touches tires. He'll go lockstep into turn number one and two. And night number two at Lawrenceburg Speedway is going to go to the 7BC car. Tyler Courtney picks up the win. And the 5B car, Thomas Mesro, I'll see in Jose, California, picks up the win on night number three of the DOS Energy Drink Indiana Sprint Week here at Kokomo Speedway. Rolling with the white flag, one to go. Robert Ballou is there. 
He ran him down, caught him in the big run down in the corner, slide jump up across the track. Courtney gets back around the outside. Four, Tyler Courtney picks up wind at the Terre Haute Action Track during the Knott's Energy Drink Indiana Sprint Week. Up front though, Dave Darla will pick up a second feature event win of the season here on night number five of the Knott's Energy Drink Indiana Sprint Week. Closest company, Kevin Thomas Jr. back by 1.7 seconds. And what a drive for the 30 car, C.J. Leary. And down the front straightaway, the battle happens deep. As there goes Darlin for the race lead. Down to turn number one to two, big slider. And he's got it. He got it down the back straightaway. Chris Window back to the number two spot. Jay Stockton running third on the field. Dave Darlin as elbows up in the 36D car down to turn number one to two. Wyndham, though, finishing out in the number two spot, seals the deal on an Austin Energy Drink Indiana Sprint Week. He picks up the championship. Beats the right up on the back tail tag of Thomas down the back stretch. Three from halfway. Thomas, the leader, caught the 35 of laser. Baking up and over, trying to avoid the incident. Oh, here goes Sam to the bottom for the lead. Slides it, takes it. Keeps it. Why is your leader? Off the wall, Courtney in turn four. Why slides for the lead again off of two? Here comes CB. Man, they're bouncing around. Facing back for the lead to the inside. Coming to 10 to go. Here comes CB. Three cars under a blanket, rattling for the win tonight here at the Clyde. Sam Wise gets away. CB to the bottom of Basin. Logan CB slides it up the hill, caught the rail off of four. Back to third. Sam Wise trying to squeak through the hole in the wall. Here comes Basin. The leaders into three and four. Basin around and he yellows out. Sam Wise, first ever national win here tonight in Pennsylvania. Leader in three and four. For the second time this year, Chad Boat is a winner for the USAC National Midgets. You've seen history, folks. There he is, Cody Swanson. He's done it. And we've got a change for the lead in turn three. He got it. He got it. Here he comes, folks. How about a round of applause? Chris Wyndham has the lead. A round of applause for your winner. Here he comes up the fourth corner, Chris Wyndham. Checkered flag comes out in the Canton, Illinois runner into Baldwin Brothers Racing. Fox Baby Amsoil number five picks up the win. Chris Windham got a couple of them picked off. Only one lies between himself. Here's a slider for the race lead. To the wall for Sunshine. He's got it out of turn number two. Right back at him comes CJ Leary. Leary deep down into turn number three. Squeaks on through it. Leary off the wall. Hang on to it. Try to power out. Gasses it back up. Shrugs it off and we stay green. For night number one, a SmackDown 7. It's going to go to Sunshine. Tyler Courtney's. Everybody going to the cushion except Darlin, who's running his line. Onto the front straightaway and gets away from McDougal in the 71. Big car up and over. Oh, Baloo catches the wall in the cushion. Flips. Needs one more trip around, one more voyage of velocity. He'll tap the wall. Courtney rides up on the wall in a 7BC car. Thomas down the back chute is headed towards Victory Lane in a 2E car. Epperson goes to BC Victory Lane with Tyler Thomas behind the wheel on night number two of the SmackDown. Can he get there? Down to the inside. No, it's going to fall just a bit shy. And Sunshine is going to pick up the win here at Tri-City Speedway. Kevin Thomas Jr., you got some company. Here comes JD, powering hard down into turn number three and four. Looking out wide for McDougal. Thomas down the inside. You got a new race leader this time across. Played right into his hands, but it is going to be the Dave Phillips Motorsports number 71P to victory lane here in history books. Tyler Courtney does not sound healthy. The Tyler Courtney car does not sound healthy. Chris Windham. Yep. Chris Windham There's is going to get C.J. Leary. He's out of fuel. And here comes Windham. Out of nowhere. Chris Windham. Chris Windham has done it. Up front, you got yourself a new race leader. 
99 car, Brady Bacon, good runs return for three and four, dances his way around, CJ Leary, the number 30 car, at the Jim Herdeby's Classic at Terre Haute Action Track. That's the Macho Man, Brady Bacon, the 99 car, picking up the win. 69 car, within a car length on Leary, charges to the inside, Leary trying to hold him up, drag race to the stripe, he got a new race leader, or not, oh my, the margin, one thousandth of a second as they crossed over. Four car shells game for second through fifth, sliding off a turn four. Mason takes second in the corner. At the whoa, oh, Mason, nasty wreck in turn one as he caught the wall, tumbling multiple times to the inside of the speedway. Courtney, the teammate, to the bottom of the leader, Grant. Courtney slides it into one, takes the lead from Justin Grant. Grant points his arrow back to the bottom. They drag race to turn three. Yeah. A runaway for Tyler Courtney in the midget main event here tonight. And look at that move, Eric. For the lead, Courtney to the bottom of the blue. Blue back to the top side, takes it from Courtney. Courtney slides oh. it into one, takes the lead back. He might have it. Tyler Courtney in the lead. Back-to-back -back wins in one night. It's going to be Tyler Courtney again at four crown. Leary stays on the pedal, goes to the right side for the move for the lead. Side by side down the back stretch. Leary back to the lead by an inch. How good was that run off the wall? Oh, Leary off the wall. Leary hits the wall again, and here comes KTJ. Five to go, and Kevin Thomas Jr. is your new leader as CJ Leary falls back. Leary took the lead at the line by a wheel link. Thomas slides it into one, Whoa. shuts the door. Leary ran right through. CJ Leary to the lead. CJ Leary does it. Leary wins it. You're going to pick up your first teacher event win with the Imsol USAC National Spring Car Series. It might as well be at the SmackDown. Justin Grant going to victory lane. Back behind, Kevin Thomas Jr. running right around the outside. Chapel's got to get off the bottom. KTJ goes to the point out of turn number two and down to back straightaway. He'll pick up feature event win number six on the season. This time, Brady Bacon's got some company. Justin Grant back to the point out turn number two and down to back straightaway. Top motorsports sports number four, Justin Grant going to victory lane. Jason McDougal, Chad Boat, three line for second spot. Coming around, it's gonna be a win for Thomas in the 91, finally! A national win for Tyler Thomas! Out of turn number four, there it is, it flutters about. Here comes Courtney down the inside, slide job down into the corner. Grant around the outside, barely gets it through. Wow, another haymaker coming in just to Grant, the number four car. Courtney, one more shot at him as Grant goes to the top shelf. Courtney down on the bottom, checkered flag comes out, and Justin Grant's going to victory lane with the top motorsports number four. Drag race for your race lead out, turn number two and down to back straight away. Courtney in the slick, trying to get the grips and to get the job done. He'll run her into three and slide it up across. Darling back around the outside. They almost touch tires to the strike. Give the nod to Courtney. 7BC car goes to the point. Darlin's right there with him. Tyler Courtney is going to pick up the win at the 51st Annual Western World here at Arizona Speedway. The checkered flag comes out up front. It's going to be Justin Grant, the top motorsports number four, picking up the win. Courtney leaving a lane around the outside. Oh, into the back bumper. Courtney around, and Justin Grant clears to the outside. For Justin Grant, it goes back to back, and the Budweiser Oval Nationals, and let the drama commence on the social media. As here he comes, looking to the outside of Tyler Courtney, down the back straightaway. Sunshine down on the inside. Challenge for your race lead about to happen. As here comes KTJ, drag race to the strike. Give the nod to Thomas, he's got it. Tyler Courtney, he's got to keep him within three now as he has fallen back into the number two spot. The white flag is out, one more trip around. And back behind, banking off the pace. Courtney goes back into the number four spot. He's got his position back. Down the back straightaway comes your race leader, Kevin Thomas Jr. into turn number three and four. Checkered flag coming out. Thomas looking to pick up the Budweiser Oval Nationals win. And back behind, Courtney's going to pick up the championship. He did it. Made it. Made it. He's Avery looking to go wire to wire up front. It's going to have a whole lot of company out of what is soon to be your national champ in the National Midget Series. Here comes the checkered flag around the outside, and see if he got him. 
Johnny off the cushion, picks up the win and the championship in one fell swoop. He's up front, Larson again into the corner. Here comes Bell, another shot at him. Haymaker down into the corner. Larson crossing back to the inside, put the number one car back onto the point. As Bell hustles it back up to the cushion again. A little burning nation coming out of the exhaust of the 21 cars. He finds some fuel. He'll throw another slider at Larson down into the corner. Take him out wide. Larson battling off the cushion. Holds him off and shuts the door. Down across the nose of the number 21 car. Down to turn number one and two as Larson goes top shelf. Here comes Bell down low. Looking to the inside of Johnson. He got a new race leader coming out of the corner. Larson slipping the grip. Costi trying to get it done. He'll run it right up to the tail tank. Down low. Oh, to the inside. Contact. Bell shrugs him off, checkered flag comes out, and Christopher Bell goes back-to-back at the Turkey Night Grand Prix.